Why do ISIS hunt the heads of Christians? Well, it becomes it comes from the Bible. And um, before, be strong. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces, and thy foreheads are strong against their foreheads. And a and a and a da, adornment is harder than flint. I have made thy forehead. That's a set of horns. Moses had them. And also, you have the destruction from the north. Look. That's from the Vatican, that's where they, that's where they, they get um, the Vatican and the Egyptian Pharaoh. They are synagogue of Satan, they claim to be Jews but re or Hebrews, but really they're synagogue of Satan. So they build all these obelisks and stuff like that, and Satan is above your head, he hasn't been cast into the into his torment and hell yet. So all of your, all your idolatry that you commit, send your life force through these idols up to Satan, the Queen of Heaven. So Alexander the Great was Atlastan, Attila and all of these people. They moved around destroying the idolatrous kingdoms. It was a game of cat and milk. So predator and prey, don't get caught, mess up your life and that'd be a lot. So what they do was like, they send your life force, it sucks, they dry. So it's the bat again, which is the new, which is um, a witch's covenant really. I don't know about the new Pope, but Babylon has always had um, idolatry, and idolatry is linked to the life force of the human race going from thousands of years, from eternity down to hundred thousand, down to a thousand years, down to hundreds of years. Took Moses a hundred, or took um, now what, 120 years to build the ark. He lived till he was seven hundred or eight, nine hundred years. I'm not too sure. There's loads of people who live for hundreds of years. That's because there was no idolatry. So the, the Lord says, I will give thee as a light to the Gentiles. And when he gives it as a light to the Gentiles, that means you go around destroying idolatry and pulling down obelisks. Because if you go and stand beside an obelisk and you see a plant growing near the obelisk and look at the plants further away from the obelisk, the plants, even blackberry bushes that grow beside obelisks are what they call milestones. If you, talk, if, you, if, you, if you look at them, they're smaller, the berries are smaller, everything's smaller, the plants are withering around the, the milestones. You can see that on the canals and stuff when you walk down, have a look at idolatry, you see the plants don't grow as good around idolatry as they do for the look where there's no idolatry. You can observe that for yourself. So there you go. Who's to blame? Well, idolatry is to blame. You're worshiping Satan. When you pull down the when you pull down the, the pyramids and when you pull down all of these things, what you call civilization, it's not really civilization. It's all a big fucking lie. Yeah, um, you, you you give life to the next generation and the generation after that, and you give the truth. But people are so messed up these days. When they hear the truth, they become violent and aggressive and they react negatively towards the truth teller. So there's an old African proverb, a speaker of the truth has no friends. So you have like the Muslims running around in, um, the crazy Muslims running around in um, the Middle East chopping the heads off Christians. That's because Christians, when they, when they worship correctly, they grow, a for, they grow um, something as hard as flint on their forehead. Alexander the Great, he was destroying all the idolatrous kingdoms. He was a Gentile. Um, At At Alexander the Great, Adelstan, Oitila, Attila, all these names are mentioned in the Bible, the Romans. Walk around, you can't be that fucking stupid. I know you just went to Commie College and all to learn to be, to learn to accept lawyers as the truth, but that was probably not your fault. Surely we haven't inherited lawyers from our fathers. Yeah. God bless. Sorry, sorry.